Time now to check in with John. A lot of events going on across the metro, John, and it sounds like the weather is going to be beautiful. It is just a touch hot, so definitely plan for that. Grab a hat, stay cool. Not going to be anything too impressive, but the sun is still shining statewide as we go into this afternoon. Fairgrounds look pretty bright, and you know what? We're less than a week away from the fair. I know you've probably heard that a lot. Looking forward to it. We're going to see some nicer temperatures, a cool down by fair time. But before that, the heat, and then we're going to, this will be a hot one. We're going to be feeling like the 90s, but we are going to have a breeze uh, uh, through the afternoon. Not so much for the evening, but we are still going to be staying clear as those winds really break apart. Here's the wind forecast for the rest of the afternoon, a 10 to 15 mile per hour wind. In, but notice 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock going to 9. It starts to die down close around that 5 mile per hour range. So it's going to get a little stagnant for any type of evening or overnight plans that you have if they are, are going to be involving the outdoors. This is the weather setup that we have right now. High pressure is moving in from the west. This is the system that gave us that very active Wednesday. It is well to the south and east along with the cloud cover. High pressure gives a sinking motion in the atmosphere and that's going to keep us clear throughout the rest of today and it's going to stay in control for most of the weekend. So let's break this down hour by hour throughout the day. The time is moving. I know you're not really seeing much difference over Iowa just because yeah, high pressure keeps us clear until we get into tonight. These are high level clouds. What that means they're going to be thin. So as we wake up Saturday morning, it, the southwestern half of the state could be looking at more of that cloud cover. It's not going to last long. and It's not going to give us any rainfall either, but it is going to filter out the sun until it pushes further off to the south. Now, once we head through the rest of Saturday, mostly sunny skies, Keeping my eyes focused further north. This is going to Saturday night after 10 o'clock going even beyond midnight. Some isolated showers mainly for northern Iowa along and north of Highway 20 will be a chance for some more of those isolated showers, isolated storm possibilities, but nothing greatly uniformed. It's not going to be a great chance, so that's what we're keeping an eye on again. Saturday late night going into early Sunday morning and then another chance as we go throughout our Sunday. But let's talk about the heat index for today's feeling like the 90s outside at the hottest part of the day, the lower 90s. Then Saturday mid to upper 90s is what it's going to be feeling like for central and western Iowa, even along the border, the western border, feeling closer to around 100. And then as we get into Sunday, you're looking at more so the back in the mid and upper 90s. So it is going to still feel that humidity throughout Saturday and Sunday for your weekend. The better chance will be again for the rainfall further north, but a lot of sunshine pretty much everywhere else for this upcoming weekend. Now Monday, this is when that cold front starts to move in. And then we're going to be looking at more of the rain chance so still isolated, but we need that to bring the cool down highs return into the low 80s Tuesday through Friday.